Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bayt Stadium with its tent light structure. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain, and they take on Costa Rica. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. And here's the starting 11 for Costa Rica. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2. And it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers. And the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And the match is underway. Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, and on the ball, Sarabia, Carvajal, onto Koke, determined defending. Corner kick from Koke. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what? A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Koke tasked with taking it. Not messing around with that clearance. How can he take them on and beat them? Superb block. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. Fantastic effort, especially from that sort of range. Well, it really is a good effort. He's got such good technique. That was a great strike. 
Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. But you have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Pedri. Promising possession, this. In behind for him to chase. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. <laughs> and the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. And winning it back. Yeltsin Tejeda. Chance to cross. And the referee blows for a foul. Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic. And he takes it on, and a body in the way. And Koke with the delivery. And the problem not completely solved. Well, that'll be a free kick. Pablo Sarabia. Very quick thinking there. Tejeda. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, Spain have seen more of the ball in the last 15 minutes, that's for sure, and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Opportunity here. Able defending, but can they keep it out? OK. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. Trying to deliver it accurately. Still not clear. Pedri. And Torres on the ball. Sergio Busquets. Keeping the ball moving. Has eyes for goal! Strong hand on that one. Celso Borges. Breaking at pace. Really getting stuck in. Oh, 
Oh, great vision. Can he finish? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Brian Oviedo. Benete. An alert intervention. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Simple save, really. Tejeda. And here's Oviedo. Celso Borges. Morata. On to Carvajal. Coquet. And a chance for them to nudge in front. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Go kick. the keeper at all with that effort and so it is the first half story has been written Morata well below his best no other conclusion really can be reached can it Stuart well it's not been a great performance from him today but can he just find that spark we know he's a good player but not on today's performance he just hasn't looked a threat Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Possession one. Can they stop it going in? Vital intervention. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. And over it comes. Celso Borges. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Crossing possibilities. A gift for any goalkeeper. Pau Torres, Pedri, now Busquets, Koke's lost the ball, Tejeda, Contreras, and the emphasis is on creativity, Keeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Brian Oviedo. They've got it now, what can they do? Veering in field here. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change.
Now they've lost the ball. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Now that short pass, this could be interesting. And no way through. And the press is on. He must finish! There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. So underway again here, one nil the score. Rodrigo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Jordi Alba. Opportunity in the wide area. Campbell. Determined defending. Koke. And on the ball, Sarabia. Sarabia. Cross fired over, able to deal with the threat. Carvajal, here's Busquets. Now Busquets. Busquets. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. needed to be a lot better than that straight into the wall denied by the bar back in play here well threat over for now well had that gone in they would be in complete control of this game as it is they're still going to be a bit nervy and intercepts again as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Well, great read there to intercept. Just ten minutes remaining here. How about the cross? This could be it! And it is! He's done it! Surely a case of game over. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands.
Rodrigo. Nicely timed tackle. And we've entered the final five minutes. Francisco Calvo. And that's an important intervention. Good technique displayed. Chance here. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Substitution for the hosts. Giving the match. Number 24. Amir Lekoric. Entering the match. Number 2. Going short. Now veering in field. Busquets. A really vital interception. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. And it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed. Offside. Has eyes for goal! And fired against the crossbar! Well, no danger now. And there it is, the final whistle. Just what Spain were hoping for. They have delivered a victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. What a fine contribution, all things considered, by Rodrigo. Interested to know how you would sum up his performance. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.